so we're building the apiary today and it was brushy like this and I just got out here with the tractor this morning and cleared out some space so that we could set them back into the woods and I'm building this little bee patio so that I can get the hives up off the ground. This will supposedly keep hive beetles from being as bad because they can't go down and burrow in the ground and lay eggs and then they crawl back up. So they are shaded after one is dapple shade right now. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon. So through the hot summers, they'll have this shady area and they'll get morning sun all the way up here. But I cleared out enough space that I can add more bees later if I want to add to my little colony community over here. So I didn't get any video of me clearing out the space, but this is what I'm working with now. And once we finish, I will video some more and overlap some pictures of before and after. gravel put in to it and leveled out a little bit. I'm going to go around the edges with some pretty rock trim and make it look a little nicer. But they're kind of nestled back here in the woods so it'll be nice. This will keep some shade on them in the summer. Here in Alabama, it's very hot in the summer and humid. So our house is over here. And then we have these apple trees and pear trees and crab apple trees and possibly dead trees and blueberry bushes and blackberries and raspberries. And then nestled up in the woods is the apiary. So the girls will have a lot of pollinating to do and that whole area back there, oh, back in here is hedges. We're about to close all that in for the goats to eat back there and there's a lot of acreage. So there will be plenty of flowers everywhere for the girls to get their nectar. So while filming, I totally forgot to add an ending. So thank you for watching. I'm Jack with Cowbell Farms. Join us again next time and as we update the apiary area and things to come. Thank you so much. God bless.